Hey Gearheads, it's Toby with GearReport.com. We're here today to talk through and do a tabletop review of the Sig Sauer P320 X5. So stay tuned, this one's pretty hot. All right, team, so here it is. Just what you've been looking for, and just in time for Christmas. The Sig Sauer P320 X5. MSRP from the website, of course, of $1,005. And just so that we're clear, as we're talking through this review, I want to make sure that everybody sees that this is, in fact, an unloaded firearm. I'm going to pull the flag out. We're going to put that off to the side and still check and make sure. Check me, guys. Make sure I'm keeping everybody honest here. All right. So just the facts or just the statistics on it overall is it is a semi-automatic. It is a full size. This is six hours answer to a full size 320 as well as a competition or, or race gun as well. Um, there's a couple things we'll talk about with regards to the sights that help help facilitate that if you're wanting to use this in competitions uh, as well as the mag well and the magazines and things like that. Uh, it, we do have a standard polymer frame, uh, a nitron slide finish over top of a stainless steel slide, so this, it, that is coated over top. Uh, a carbon steel barrel, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it is striker fired for the trigger. Uh, it has the uh, X series straight style trigger and we are going to talk about that and take a look at that here in just a minute. Barrel length is five inches. The over OAL or overall length is 8.5 uh, 8 inches. Uh, there's a 1.6 inch or 41 millimeter width, a height of 5.8 inches, and then a weight of 35.6 ounces. Okay, that's a lot of information. So let's, let's talk about the actual firearm itself. So for starters, a couple of highlights of the gun that, that, that they're touting and that, that I actually agree with them on and actually really enjoyed is for starters the, the grip angle so what they've done is with these with this they've done a stipple style grip they've got a high beaver tail and a high angle so that you get your hand closer up to the bore axis and they've done a, a little dremeled out cut or a cut out right here where i the reason i say dremeled is because every firearm that i own i always dremel out that area right there and a little right here well they've done the same thing and as you know the closer you can get your hand up to the barrel the less felt recoil you'll have and the more manageable everything is. So they've done a great job there. I mean, as far as comfort and feel, it feels amazing. It sits perfectly in your hand exactly where you would want it to. With some other firearms, sometimes you'll get that rub right here where it does sit up under the trigger, but because they've, they've cut that out, you don't get it. I mean, it's just, it's just perfect. Um, the, again, the grip angle itself is very comfortable. It just it facilitates use pretty easily, facilitates target acquisition. It just kind of feels right and feels natural. It doesn't have that can't forward feel that you get in some of the, the other firearm series. It's got a pretty straight up and down feel similar to, um, <clears throat> well, we won't name other brands, but basically it's kind of a straight up and down instead of a canted forward feel. So it feels pretty good. Um, the magazine well starting at the bottom. For starters, I want to talk about the magazine itself. So a couple things. It is weighted on the bottom just a little bit by the fact that it has, has the larger base plate on it. And you'll notice that on the side of the base plate, on either side of the base plates, it has this stipple style grip, again, extending that, that look and feel down to the magazine itself, um, which of course gives you better purchase and better grip on the, on the magazine when you're for reloads and for um, getting it in and out of the magazine well. You'll notice also, I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, but 21, 21, and one in the chamber. That gives you a total of 22 shots, 21 with every magazine. And this does come with four 21 round magazines literally right out of the box. So it's pretty much got everything you need right out of the box. Now it also has this, this extended mag well there, okay. Now that is removable. There's a, a set pin right about here where you can remove that if you want to, but I don't know why in the world you would want to. It gives you a really good spot for your, your, your pinky to ride at the bottom, as well as, of course, it, it channels all your reloads. 
it gives you the ability to channel the magazine straight into where it needs to be to punch out and get ready. So I don't know why you want to remove it, but you can. They did a great job with having a slightly oversized magazine release. Not too large, not too small, and it's in a good spot to where unlike some other brands, you'll notice I'm not having to reposition my hand to reach around to the magazine release. I'm able to do it, and again, I wear a size medium glove, so I'm not exactly Bigfoot in my hands, but I'm not, I'm just kind of your average Joe. And again, I don't have to change my grip to get to that magazine release at all. It's just quick, okay? Uh, working forward a little bit, you'll notice that on the trigger guard, they do have your standard grip area on the front so that if you grip, if in your grip you, you put pinky front, or sorry, pointer front, then you've got your, your, what you're used to of having that spot there. Uh, or if you do point out, then it's fine, okay? Um, the trigger itself. So there's, believe it or not, there's nothing, according to the website, because I, I did a little digging on this and watched some of their videos, there's nothing amazingly different about their trigger uh, as far as like it compared to a standard P320. What they've done though is instead that they gave it a, they gave it more of a, a flat straight surface and had it break at about 90 degrees. So while it has the same tension, the same feel, the same mechanism or the same mechanics as their standard triggers, it's not lightened or anything in any way. It does have more of a clean, crisp, straightforward pull to the rear and brake. Okay, you can see that it breaks at right around 90 degrees. And what they've done with this, what they've done with, with the, the trigger being flat surface is it, it's supposed to give you that uh, better straight rearward travel without slipping off or, or giving you that arc of motion uh, when you're pulling or pushing the trigger to the left or to the right. Now, I'm not extremely used to a straight trigger. This is one of the f one of the few I've ever shot, actually. And, and I mean, right out of the gates, I did find we had a, a, another couple of shooters, uh, might be able to try to work in some of the footage here, who, uh, who they had a, a slight learning curve. It took them shooting the gun twice to realize that there is a bit of a learning curve on, on if you're used to the standard curve trigger than straight. This, this gun obviously doesn't shoot very good because because uh, you can't aim because I'm uh, woefully unqualified to test weapons so <laughs> no it's smooth it's smooth it's got a good trigger the triggers a little weird for me but uh, it's just because I'm used to those uh, blocks so so is it because it's a flat trigger or, or why is it what is it that, that took you that you were having trouble the flat trigger didn't really bother me as much the travel did the the way it traveled Travel, so, or travel break or travel before or after travel? So it has... Before break or after? Before break, mm -hmm. the way it kind of, there's slack and then it stacks and breaks. Okay. There's not a whole lot of over travel or anything like that, but just that feel, I like it to be a little bit crisper. Okay. Less take up. And so that was causing you some problems of getting on target? No, that was just, I suck. Oh, you so. just suck it. Okay, you just yeah. suck at shooting. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm bad at guns. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. What did you think about it that time? It's better. Every time I draw where I'm so used to the Glock, I'm off center. I'm like up and to the left uh, grip diameter or something. But as soon as I take that first shot and I get back down where I'm supposed to be, it's all right. Nice. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, you are, I, I saw you actually hit a couple that time. I could probably so you suck less. I could probably get used to it. I mean, don't show them on camera, but like, I'm oh, probably I like. I promise this won't be I'm, on camera. I'm probably, I'm probably like 40 yards away at this point. Yeah. And I moved up from where I was at. Listen, I think it's 50. So, I think you're 50 yeah. yards from it, and boom, you hit it with yeah. a pistol. Yeah, no problem, no problem. It's just the the 50 or excuse me, the 60 yards was a little too much. Yeah, Dialing that's it back what is what it was. The, gun, back the gun's 50. obviously not uh, uh, accurate enough. It's not properly yards, calibrated. <laughs> <laughs> so, but overall, no problem at all. Standard Picatinny rail on the front. Of course, 
slightly oversized magazine catch, magazine release, as well as the fact that it is in fact ambidextrous. So you have that on both sides. The slide has just enough serrations on both sides to where if you, if you load over or if you load rear, you've got what you need according, no matter how your, your style of, no matter what your style of is, you've got grip. Okay. The top of the slide, obviously they've notched out to reduce weight and to help to reduce recoil for recoil management. So that's just awesome. I mean, it also looks just cool as can Sides be too. Dawson fiber optic side on the front, light capture, and then a Dawson black rear with adjustments. It's, it has the ability to adjust. And another thing you'll notice is that this is one solid unit or one solid piece. This is designed to where right out of the box you can remove this entire, op this entire iron sight, the Dawson sight, and you can put the Romeo, the six hour Romeo red dot on there literally right out of the box. So overall, that's kind of a walk through of some of the features of the firearm. Um, and I love it. I mean, this, this, I, I, for review, if you don't want to go any further and listen to me drone on anymore, I can tell you that this thing is spot on. The recoil was perfect. Um, everybody who shot it didn't have any problems with, with, you know, follow-up shots, target acquisition. Um, the thing just felt flawless. It was perfect. It was really a good gun. I think SIG has a real winner here with the, with the 320X5. If you're looking for a 9mm from SIG Sauer that's in the 320 line that you can do a lot with, you cannot go wrong with this one, guys. I'm telling you what. It's awesome. All right. Well, that's kind of the review and the overall thoughts on the SIG Sauer P320X5. Until we see you out on the range, you keep living your dream.